たった5人の海賊だった。船長は黒ひげと名乗り、あ絶望的な力。Hello and welcome to the first reaction episode of Will of the Scry. I am your narrator, Kirk D. Cam. I'm your reactor, Scryerman. And we've gone through all of, all of East Blue. We've done Little Garden. And it just seemed like the perfect time to actually set the reaction up as we enter this new, this new landscape, this snowy wonderland that is Drum Island. So, what, what was the last thing that happened? Well, they, they were sailing. We know Nami got sick. And. This figure named Wapple, who ate the munch munch fruit, arrived on their ship and started eating it. At which point, Luffy kind of just sent him flying. Probably the fastest fight I've seen yet in the show. <laughs> yeah, very quick lived. Um, and then, fast forward a little bit towards the end of the episode, they arrive at this, this new snowy island, Drum Island, and they're greeted by all the villagers who have their, their guns up. They don't take lightly to pirates, which is understandable. I forgot that、uh, Vivi was、uh, a casualty in that. So Vivi got shot, and then we got hit with the dreaded to be continued. And that's it. I think we're ready to go. So before we get into this, I think it's important to note that every time we revisit. Um, an episode for the first time, we're going to play the opening. It's the agreement that Scryman and I came to. We think it's a big part of the story.、Yeah. So, the start of every binge. Exactly. Well, it's good too because、um, I noticed something from the previous arcs, at least in this one.、Um, like now, Arlong has some meaning, prominence value, right? Right. Nami's mom. Usopp's dad, who's way cooler than him. <laughs> and One Piece has a way of doing that too, where、um, they don't really spoil anything with the openings, but if you looked close enough, you may be able to figure it out. But that's why we always do it in one take. What, what are your thoughts on this opening compared to the first one? Um, I love that they maintain the, the synth with the strings. That was my favorite part the whole time.、Um, yeah, no, it's great. Great follow up. I do love that first one when the sail comes down and syncs with the music and you,、sure. you feel like you're setting off. But this is great. Obviously, the quality of the show, along with the openings, improve over time. And there's some really iconic ones、um, in your future, and they do a great job exactly what you're talking about, where they sync up the audio with certain scenes, and I love it. It's really cool. I don't want, really want Luffy yelling at me while I'm sick. To <laughs> That's the point. He just doesn't. Remember, all three of them have. No experience being sick. For some reason, their bodies are all in tip top quality,、right. so they don't know how to react to it. I can't really blame these people, though. No, not at all. I just hope that tangerine tree is okay in the, in the climate. So Nami's sick. Baby just got shot. Things aren't looking too hot. Yeah. 
<laughs> Damn. Mm. I don't like that one. She wasn't there for our long park, so. Yeah. And she's she right. She sees what she sees. Sure. And she's correct in that. In that but I mean, setting. she lets her pet drink alcohol, so. Right. <laughs> True. She is a princess. She knows mm -hmm. how to coerce the people. この国 <laughs> 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 Look at his scars where we try to cut off his leg or his feet. Legs off? Yep. Now why is this string the whole way around? Did he sever the whole thing? He tried to. He tried to cut him off. いい感じだ。ちょっと待って、うちに。あ、怖い、見ろ、怖い。ちょっとやだ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。
病気や気分彼女は気まぐれに山を降りてきた患者を探し命を施しては報酬に金の欲しいありったけ奪って帰るまるで海賊だなでもずっとおばあさんが山から妙な噂なんだ日曜の晩に彼女が空を駆け降りてくる不明が目撃の話だ<笑>これが魔女と呼ばれる事件でなそれに来たこともないような生き物がここにいたというものもいる<笑>確かに、唯一の医者ではあるが、代わりになりたくない。先に山を降りてくる。ここで待つし。おい、神、来るか。起きた。あ、山登る。山登るぞ。Just let her sleep and drag her up. ああ。るつもりで,で反対側の山からのからのコースアパーンがいる。ごぼうなうさぎだ。無事に出くわしたら、いいなぞ。エルツ、バカな。行くようなもんなぞ。何が聞こえる早く、演じでもねえこと言ったら、このさやろう。大丈夫か Where's Zoro swimming? Yeah, he's just practicing and watching the ship, guarding it. Whenever he has a little cutscene away or, you know, a time where he's just training, usually a good thing. He likes to level up whenever he can. Look at his nose. <laughs> Dalton is good peoples. They said、um, if their crewmates are the ones who are essentially suffering and having to climb this mountain in the cold, they can at least stand outside in the cold and support them. どうぞ。Oh. I did not remember this. 
わーおだが、国にとってはこれでよかったというのもあ、つぶりって聞いたっけないじゃないありがとうだがそれというのもこれまでの国の王政が国民にとって悲惨なものだったと元の国の名はドラム王国ワープ That name sound familiar? Mm -hmm. The Munch Munch guy? He was the king. And he, <laughs> and he, got, king. he got defeated by Blackbeard. I forgot. I didn't even put two and two together. <laughs> <laughs> This is reminiscent of Whiskey Peak when, when Zoro and Luffy were just ignoring Mr. Five and them. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't care. <laughs> 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 Punted the bunny. Try they didn't eat it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh oh, walking bunnies. That was just the baby. <laughs> Polar bears. <laughs> I mean, what would you rather face? Yeah. yeah okay. That's why she recognized him briefly. Mm. Mm. She let it slip. That means he's close. If I remember, you can't navigate the Grand Line without a pose, a log pose. Mm. So he couldn't find his way back. But if he's, if he's only a day out, that means he's probably pretty close. そう<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> Isn't that French for bunny? It might be. Ah, <laughs> uh, this guy didn't drown? They must have got him. Maybe he landed on land, you know. He does have a pretty fast ship with that propeller. Or whatever you call that. Engine. Mm, icebreaker thing? Oh yeah, right. Probably an icebreaker too. It's a good point. Oh, oh that, that was, was a transition. I know. I was impressed by that. I, I don't. They don't do that that often. That's a lot for one frame of. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, next episode.
This is episode 81. Let's get going. The doctor called witch. What would you do if you ran to this guy? <laughs> uh, probably not much. <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting that we're watching back to back two clear examples of Nami being very strong willed. Leader's always got to get the scar. Like that episode of Rick and Morty where he's with the rats and he's like, I'm like you, I don't have any defining features like a scar or profounding body parts. Hey man, these things could be a better Pokemon than half of the new models. <laughs> Where bear? I like how the dinosaurs were nothing, but that's his, uh... Oh, they were nothing. This is one-on-one. And no, uh, sick person. Yeah. しかもなしで、ま、たろくにでグランドラインを旅をする。あれにも無効だ。スターロン。マジ<笑><笑><笑> あ、<笑> あ、<笑> Just punched it down. I 
回。はいわ。最高開局は。待ってくれ。私の同族者が山を降りてきたこの後ももう数日下山がないと死んでいたんだが山を降りて降りてきてんだろうぜもうそこは降りることもあるしまだまだいるんだな帰ってもらうんだThe Usopp knows how to act logically. <laughs> He knows his crew. Yeah, I'm really not sure where this is going. Look at that Knock him out. I was gonna say that was pretty reasonable. ありがとう。Is that forty nine percent for life, though? No, I think it was just like maybe for the day or something. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Alright. That seems perfectly reasonable. <laughs> oh. He thought he was drowning. <laughs> no. Uh, avalanche.
That's a first. ワポルの部下。私は現代国王の時代よりも、みんな守備隊の隊長だった。だが、国王が亡くなり、息子のワポルが王の座に。私。あ、そうだ。この Actually, an executed tactic in history. It's complete dominant control. Paranoia, but you know. Can't fight, so. All right. What's <laughs> The Trevor looks a little different than I expected, but I feel uh yeah. it's gonna change. Reason. You also know just know him as his figurehead self. <laughs> Zoro getting lost. <laughs> It's like Luffy and Zoro just running around in shorts in their shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that his name is Chess. <laughs> I'm not a fan of him either way, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. Like a hippo mammoth thing? Yeah, I like it though. They're all supposed to keep in watch. うん。
コプターの一族。ダークレハなら、ダスターの方へ。ダスターへ。来たよ、それ。ゴムを挟んで、この町とは反対の方向にある場所。Yes, he has the true、um, MVP of. Who? It's random walking guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. And they got killed. Alright, we stopped Scott this. <laughs> the only one, him and Vivi. <laughs> And Dalton. Dalton's gonna bash him with that loot. What? Oh. <laughs> He's a, a wear bear? A wear a wear bull. A wear bison. Bison, probably. He ate something. <laughs> Maybe these are people too. <laughs> or not. It's funny though. Oh, that's to look forward to. Okay. Yeah, we are moving on to episode 82, Dalton's Resolve. You're the captain, Leslie. <laughs> you tell him. Not a good situation for a very sick person on the back. Yeah, I didn't see if she held on or not. I don't think so. They are ready to revolutionize. Man, get those wieners out of here. It goes to show like how helpless you often feel in a situation, but you spend enough time away from it. And now you know you can't go back to it at all costs. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> the sheep are getting annoyed with you, Sop. <laughs> Oh, 
Disgusting. Is this a side effect that he's like hungry all the time, or is that just? I think like, so. His... Some devil fruits have weird side effects. Mm. Bookmark that comment for someone named Magellan way down the line. Okay. Side effects of a fruit. I think she's gonna be like an unlikely ally. Ooh. It is a loot, is it? No, that was a fucking axe. Or a spear. <laughs> you straight up oh, sliced him. <laughs> Not a second remorse. アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。アポル。
So like there's different ox models and this is the bison one. There could be multiple birds, right? Could be a bird bird fruit model sparrow or something. And then model eagle. That's how that works. Wondering if Chopper is a person. Those bunnies could be people. Yeah, he knows his weakness. I guess that's why he's called Chess, but. True. Step ahead. Oh, <laughs> There's the training you wanted. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you must have so much fun writing this show. This manga. <laughs> This is like Sanji. That would have made more sense, though, if he just kicked him upwards. Something. <laughs> hey, it's adrenaline in the moment. Yeah. Got that quick. <laughs> I didn't see that so coming. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Serious mode. <laughs> See that? He just shooed the doctors away. Shooed them away where? They wanted to get on the thing with him, and he was like, get away. Uh, like, I don't want to slow me down. So he just left his job, doctors to die. Nature's reclaimed the island. Everything got buried. So come on. あんた、<笑><笑> You did it. Are we serious now? He's got both of them now. Messed up. These guys are scrubs from what we've seen. His mount's probably stronger. Man, I wanted to see some Wapple whack down. Wapple whack down. So that was episodes 80 through 82. Um, thank you for tuning in. Got some exciting stuff coming up, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're 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 scrubs, I guess. But you also got to remember that Luffy is pretty okay. abnormally strong, so, and um, yeah. there's always the element of surprise and being caught off guard too, right? Right. <laughs>
Well, I mean, he has been through a lot in the past uh, couple hours. Couple hours, <laughs> yeah. Almost made it to the base, the avalanche hit, avalanche. Um, and now he's dealing with an incredibly sick Nami on his back and a completely passed out Sanji who just took a full front of an avalanche. He's carrying both and Wapple, who has this big vendetta against him, shows up right there. It's a lot. It's a lot. I, I'd, I'd say I agree with you in your synopsis that, you know, Luffy has shown his dominance, but he's also dealing with a girl who could die at any minute. And that's his first priority. Right. Maybe he can't be his reckless self where he takes care of things quick. Right. So, you know, there's a lot to be to be told. Plus, you have... Zoro lost. Who knows what he's doing, wherever he is. He's not <laughs> contributing. Usopp and Vivi are running around all over the place trying to get to the doctor who we now know has left that village. Um, and, and now Wapple has come back to terrorize. Dalton got shot by the three arrows because he wanted to save mm -hmm. um, the, the yeah, people. Yeah, Dalton was doing work until then. But I guess mm -hmm. it shows how like even the really strong characters, if they let their guard down or get hit in the right spot or and we don't we don't know much about like chess and that other guy right like i mean those arrows look like they hurt <laughs> that's know? true and i've learned to not um associate the character design immediately with uh power level higher lower so i mean look at luffy right <laughs> Yeah, who knows? Who knows? We have this scene right in front of us right here. I mean, you look at these guys. Who do you think is the strongest, right? Like, you really don't <laughs> know um, until you, you watch the show. Um, plus, I think the other big point that was kind of hidden low-key was the um, how quickly he he threw away his doctors when the avalanche right. came. They tried to jump on to... to him the king has all to them the king has always given them whatever they wanted so i think there was an a, an ounce of selfishness on their end as well um but they expect all their years of service to just him to probably be rewarded at some point right mm -hmm. now he leaves them the first chance he gets it shows i guess his short-sightedness too both with running his country and his personal uh i don't know what he's like what's he planning to do after that the avalanche with no doctors right I guess get new ones but right but that's not what's on his mind his first priority is just save himself yeah very short-sighted i wonder if that's tied into his uh it seems like he's constantly just thinking about uh gluttony his next meal gluttony oh right? so maybe that ties into his short-sightedness a little maybe, never maybe that's a little too uh i, mean, I never thought of that that's interesting to his character but <laughs> yeah that's cool what are your what are your thoughts about um the backstory of Drum Island? They arrive there and you find out that this crew deemed the Blackbeard Pirates have come through and wiped everyone. And it was their cause that that, that caused it was them that caused Wapple to flee the country because he was so scared of who they were. Didn't want to deal with them. Right, and what, why did he... He assumes they're gone. Do we know how they were defeated yet? Or did they leave, pillage, like, destroyed and leave? That's what is it that sounds what like, yeah. Which is, you know, a pirate ass right. thing so to do in the world. maybe they'll come back. Maybe Womp will, will have to team up with the crew. I don't know. Maybe we'll get a visitor. Um, yeah, but that's interesting. I mean, I can tell you that I definitely did not recall that specific point. <laughs> that the Blackbeard pirates had come through and sieged the, 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 the place. It's interesting. Well, a lot to I, be I told. I do like, too, how... Um, sorry, I do like how Oda is um, kind of remixing some familiar uh, story characters and tropes here. Uh, you've kind of got, like, the, the witch being kind of like Santa in... Mm -hmm. Santa's castle and a reindeer, and you've got Blackbeard, who's a pirate in a lot of other media. But yeah, I'm excited to see main lore. shows up. What kind of twist is on there? Um, yeah, 
it's so, interesting. So you can see how he borrows things and remixes them um, in a really unique way. So. It's a great, great point because there's a lot of inspiration that he pulls from real life piracy. Um, and I think one of the one of the key points, and it's not exactly one to one with a pirate, but Zoro and Mihawk. And Zoro is named after the the famed swordsman from the nineties, Zoro. And Mihawk's character design is pretty synonymous with how Zoro looks in the movies. So it's an interesting it's an interesting blend how he borrows both of those. Of course, Usopp is um modeled after Pinocchio. Um <laughs> Because he lies a lot, he just has that nose, um, and it, it's it's a great point because you you see it throughout the series. There's a couple of other pirates that I know. Um, I can say their name because it doesn't really matter. But Captain Kidd is a very famous pirate in lore, and he's one of my favorite um, pirates in the show. Um, there, there's a lot of examples of that where he borrows from real life. So that's that. That is the first glimpse we've um, seen of Drum Island. I believe there's about five or six more episodes to go of this mini arc as we continue on the saga that is Alabasta. Great. I'm excited to see uh, Chopper in his iconic form that I first saw in Japan on, a, on the side of a wall. And I had absolutely no idea why this little reindeer thing with a hat was uh, on a pirate crew. So and you see his marketing everywhere. Cool. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We'll see y'all next time. This is the will of the scry. <laughs>